Hello and welcome back to the Austrian State Challenge series, as I'm going to call it, I guess. I don't know yet. Uh, last episode we did Low Austria. This episode we're going to do Burgenland. First of all, quick correction to last episode. This are the postal codes of Austria. I mixed up these with these. Uh, so, Styria is actually 8, Carinthia is 9, Salzburg is 5, and Innsbruck and Vorarlberg are 6. Actually, I got Salzburg correct, I think. I was just Innsbruck and, no, not Innsbruck, Tyrol and Vorarlberg don't have a different postcode number. And, yeah, Styria is 8, Carinthia is 9. Okay, with that out of the way, Burgenland, as I've told you last, well, I could show you in this one, Burgenland extends pretty far north-south, but it's very small, not small, very thin. It borders Hungary, and we'll just get into it. We've got five minutes, so I can continue talking while I'm in here. As I've said before, I've not been to Burgenland a whole lot, so I probably won't recognize much. But as you can already see here, in Austrian signs, a lot of the times, on highways as well, if you're going into a different country, it, the signs will actually tell you which country you're going to, in this case, H for Hungary. So it's somewhere Gyur and Chopin. Uh, Gyur is over here, Chopin is... I think that Udenburg is the German name for Chopin. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's right. Uh, and we're driving on the 62 and we're close to Ritzing. Now, as usual, especially if you're just looking in a single state in Austria, one as small as uh, Burgenland in particular, you can just look for the road if you find it. Ritzing is up here, so we're probably somewhere near Lackendorf. So if we go... Mm, it might even be there. Actually, is there... It says Ritzing goes up here. There is probably a street name somewhere there. Mm, no, there actually isn't. Then we'll just have to make do with this sign. Uh, as usual, a lot of useful signs on that, a lot of useful towns or cities on that. You've got Vienna, you've got Eisenstadt, which is the capital of Burgenland. <laughs> We've also got Deutschkreuz, which is relatively well known down here by the border. And are there any well known cities in Burgenland? You've got Pinkerfeld, which is one of the more well known ones, I think, because of its airport. You've got uh, Rust. There's always like this, it's this car meetups, I guess, I think, there. You've obviously got the, the well known Neusiedler See, and therefore Neusiedler See. Other than that, you've got Pandorf, which is one of the bigger cities, but also Mattersburg, who are a first... Actually, are they? Yeah, they are a first division football club in Austria. Or they have a first division football club, let's say it like that. You've got Lutzmannsburg, which, as I've told about, as I've talked about in the last episode, is relatively well known. Uh, okay, you've got three kilometers to Horizon. So yeah, we are somewhere here, probably. If we go west, we should get to Lackendorf is my guess so let's quickly go and do that and I'm going to assume that's Lackendorf not actually seen yeah Lackendorf yeah also another thing that's probably important to talk about is you see a lot of, you see a lot of phone numbers in Austria you can't learn anything to tell you where you are based on these landlines in Austria do have codes but no one uses them anymore pretty much and even if they do it's not really you don't really find that much on signs it's mostly like big corporations that use those any small company will mostly use mobile phones and any like very modern company also i guess yeah as you can see there's the town sign for lackendorf all Pretty much all Austrian cities have these. That's a very nice thing about Austria as well, in GeoGuessr especially. You won't find a town that doesn't have a very big sign that tells you where you are. And usually Austrian t towns slash cities aren't that big anyway, so you can quickly make it to such a sign. Other than that, I don't think you find 
I mean, you occasionally obviously do fi find uh, mentions of the cities on signs and advertisements. Um, but not too often from what I can remember. I'll have to play Austrian GeoGuessr a bit more to get a better feeling of that. There you can see, for example, one of the phone numbers that you could recognize by area code. We also still use faxes in some companies for whatever reason. Uh, yep, you've also here got the international uh, red wine, I don't know, event in Lutzmannsburg. So maybe it's also famous for that. Just let me quickly go back and put us in a more likely position. Somewhere up here is where we are. Yep. So yeah, Burgenland is also relatively flat if you look around. I don't think you'll have an easy time differentiating between the southern part of Burgenland and the northern part. I might be a bit uh, ignorant here, but I probably wouldn't be able to tell. It was even further up there. Okay, let's try for the next round. Uh, okay. Siegendorf Oberwiesen, probably somewhere around there then, not that I know where it is. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Are you shooing him away? Are you waving your hand to say hello? I can't tell. Okay, let's quickly, well, quickly, let's take our time. B31. Normally, uh, in Austria, you've got uh, a couple of different roads. You've got the highways, which are all called A something, but you often don't see that on here because, well, they're European routes. So, for example, this is the A1, which, if you're not zoomed in far enough, is blocked by the sign for the E60. But the A1 extends all the way around here from Vienna all the way over here, and even further all the way to Salzburg. And yeah, you've got a couple of these. You've also then got the S roads, which are the Schnellstraßen just translates to quick road and you've got the B roads which actually don't show up as B roads but if you see a B road anywhere it's those uh, blue rectangular ones before I continue talking about random stuff I should uh, there we go Neusiedler See Naturschutzgebiet that's just Naturschutzgebiet just means natural preservation area I guess somewhere over here this area and uh, there's more signs towards cities. You've got Eisenstadt and Klingenbach. Uh, Eisenstadt is over here and Klingenbach is here. So it might actually be this area. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why it said Neusiedler in Naturschutzgebiet then, but we'll take it. I don't know. As is probably a good tactic for all Austrian cities, as I've told you before. Try and make your way out of the city if you're in one. Let me just quickly have a look at that guy again. What was he doing? Oh, he was running, I guess. <laughs> that's that's a funny way to run, but sure. Go ahead. Uh, we'll probably find a town sign right there. We're in Siegendorf. What is that? Oh, that's, yeah, that's also a good clue. That's down there is the Hungarian name for the city. Siegendorf is right here. Uh, anything else we do here? Güterweg basically just means cars, don't you? I, I actually don't know. Sorry, but I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the start. Again, you could see if looked around a bit if you just go up here very flat you can see mountains in the distance but they're not even that high and they might not wait which direction is that western okay they probably are in austria all right any street names we've got around here usually angagas usually um you'll find enough street name signs anywhere hutweidegas is this one i guess we're somewhere over here I'm actually not sure where exactly you know what let's just go to where I was before again oops that was a bit too far I didn't want to go that far that's where I wanted to go Berggasse and St. Margaretenstraße uh, where are these 
Uh, hmm. Good question. I actually don't know. I don't think that we're not in Siegendorf. There's the Sankt. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That's the Sankt Margaretna Straße. What was the other one? Berggasse. Okay. That extends quite far over here, but I don't think we are there. There's the Berggasse. Uh, I think we're somewhere here. Yeah. We definitely are. The question is where exactly? I think that it was up there. So actually, I think we're here. Slightly more to the west. So here. That's where I'm going to say we are. And it was 5,000 points. Okay. Nothing too exciting in that round. 2422 Parma. As we know, 2422 is generally a lower Austrian postcode. Okay, noisy close to there. So you'll occasionally find, uh, there's Parma. You'll occasionally find that the postcodes of lower Austria sort of trickle a bit into Burgenland. So you can occasionally find uh, postcodes with the number two, start, uh, starting with the number two around the border here as well. Uh, yep, yeah, so now that we've found that, we're just going to have a quick look with whether that's the city we're actually in. As usual, with our method of going to the end of the town. If I can find my way there. Which is probably over here somewhere. What was that sign? Just out of interest. Okay. You'll find a lot of company advertisements everywhere on these sort of signs. Alright, it's actually not... Not a very small town, which leads me to believe we might actually not be in Parma, because Parma is very small. Schülerhilfe. Okay, we might actually be in Neusiedl, which is here. I think that's more likely, just based on how big, in quotation marks, the city looks. Yeah, very sure of that. Okay, so let's just find which street we're on. Shouldn't be too difficult usually. Wait, what is that, by the way? Something with children, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, it's a kindergarten. Okay, what do we have here? It's a company. That's a... Uh, again, that's a uh, insurance company. In Burgenland, so if you see that logo somewhere, you're probably in Burgenland. I'm 99% sure every state in Austria has their own insurance. Uh, I, I don't even know exactly what they do. I think it's, it's hospital insurance in, in some sort of way. But yeah, every, every state has their own. So you can tell, if you know them, you can tell where you are based on that. It's actually quite difficult to find which street we're on. We've got these two. Johann Lechstraße and Kardinal and Franz Königplatz. Uh, they're probably somewhere around, but Johann Lechstraße is here. So that's a start, Kardinal and Franz Königplatz. Okay, so we are presumably either here or here. There's the... Uh, kindergarten so I'm pretty sure now we're on this road how far away were we not far away from the kindergarten uh, there's another street apparently down here is there a sign for yeah as you can see there's a green sign here garden Siedlung, which is exactly this one right here so I'm just gonna place this down here and we can guess whenever we're ready uh, as you can see, lots of these these posters everywhere uh, for companies that don't necessarily have to be close to where you are. Keep that in mind. Especially construction companies will put up these banners saying where they're from. 
In Austria, that doesn't necessarily have to mean you're even close. Uh, Bruck an der Leitze, as it said here, is close, relatively. It's still over in Low Austria, therefore the two here. But even if that's a bigger city, it doesn't have to mean you're there. That's something I've noticed in, in other countries, usually, is if you see things like that, you're usually in that city. Companies from other cities barely ever put up posters for them, is what I've usually seen. I, mean, I, I might be biased here, but that's what my impression of it was. Again, if I had moved this way, I probably would have found out where we are more quickly. But, you know, we'll take it any anyway. And we've got a 10 second waiting period. But yeah, you usually find, in Austria, you'll find loads of mentions of different cities. You're almost flooded by them. So that can be sometimes difficult to judge which of these cities is the one you're actually in. So again, even if I'm repeating myself a lot, just make your way to the edge of the town. Just quickly find out which town you're in. You'll have a much easier time. I mean, you still have to find that town afterwards, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Especially if you can find a postcode. All right, this is a very desolate area. <laughs> There's not a lot going on around here. But we'll probably find signs right there. Uh, Hornstein voiced on the A3 again. A3 are, these are the highways. The A3 goes here. So actually very close to where we were before. Now we could probably look for Hornstein and we could probably find Hornstein <laughs> right there. Uh, Neufeld is over here. So I think we're, I mean, this is the, the highway, so we're not there. But how about we're closer to Neufeld than to Hornstein? Maybe down here? No. Here. That's likely. Yeah, this is where we are right now uh, you usually in these sort of uh, junctions it's not really a junction but in these sort of scenarios you won't find uh, you won't find street names for these roads neither for this nor for this one usually but you can find signs pointing towards whatever you can find behind there most of the time uh, for that one, it said Schießplatz Steinbrunn. Schießplatz, as you can see there, is a shooting range. Which Steinbrunn is here? Now the question is, were we really on this road? Or were we down here somewhere? No, we should, we should be there. Yeah, definitely. But uh, we, we went west, yes. And we can't have gone very far because I don't remember passing the highway. We should be right there. I mean, we, somewhere here. So let's just go the other way for now and see if we can get to the highway. Yeah, it's right there. I mean, not the highway, but this road is right there. The 16, so this is this road. Actually, this confuses me now. This is this road. How did we pass the highway? I don't remember this at all. We have to have passed it. Uh, this little road right there is probably this. Let me just go over here again. If we go over here, we, we have this part here, so we're definitely there. Okay, let's, let's try again and see if we can find the highway somewhere. Oh, that's why I didn't see it. I just went past this too quickly. Okay, yep, yeah, that there's the highway. I just I totally didn't notice that. If I had noticed that, I would have tried to make my way down there. Well, whatever. Uh, let's talk a bit about highways. These are just the exit number of the highways. You can usually find them on the map. I'm actually not sure whether they're... No, they're not. They're not really ordered in a understandable way for me. Or they might be, because it just goes from 13 to 30 here. Let me just make it to 34. Okay. 
Uh, there's none here. So it seems that they are ordered. They're just not. Uh, it's not the subsequent number. It doesn't go from 30 to 31 to 32. But it does. Yeah, well, yeah, you know what I mean. And if else about here, U11. I don't actually know what that means. Uh, no, couldn't tell you. Okay, I think that's about it for the useful information. Also, what you can find a lot uh, near highways are these things. They're the radio frequencies of the radio programs you can get. They can be useful. Ö3 is the most well-known in Austria, and you can probably get that everywhere. But you can find uh, regional radio programs. We'll see whether in this whole process of going through Austrian states, we'll find one of them eventually. But I'm not even sure if you see much more than their logo on there. So they might not be too helpful. We're again in a small town relatively. I say again, we've been to Neusiedl actually, so that wasn't too small. Rohrbach. We can now look for that. Rohrbach, by the way, you have to be careful with that. That is a very uh, generic name. You can find Rohrbach in a lot of places. You have Rohrbach by Matas book here. This could be it. You usually don't find it too much in the same, like too many of them in the same state, but you can potentially. Uh, that's also another thing, like just because it says Rohrbach by Mattersburg on the map, that doesn't necessarily have to be on all of the mentions of the town names you're going to find. Usually it's on the big white uh, blue border sign when you exit the city or town. Yeah, as it is here. But it's any mentions of it within the town usually don't mention that extra added on part, except if it's really part of the town's identity. Like if you have, for example, as I talked about before, Weidhofen and the Thai and Weidhofen and the Ips over there. I'm pretty sure, uh, where was Weidhofen and the Ips? Down there, these two. I'm pretty sure they do mention it on most signs, firstly, because they're very close together. And secondly, because they're just known as that. Whereas this little town might just be known as Rohrbach and that's it. By the way, I should, what am I doing? I should just look for a street name. I mean, I show you a bit of the of the town, I guess. You can find a lot of these bus stops, but they usually don't really have great information on them. Graben and Neugasser down there. Uh, let's make it back here. I think we're in the southern part of it. This was the part we, where we left the city before. Graben is here and Neugasser follows. So we're just to the north of that. We're, uh, we're even further north. We're here somewhere. Yes, yeah, slightly, slightly further enough. This is where we are. Okay. This is also like the standard architectural style in the northwestern part of Aust uh, northeastern part of Austria. Most houses look something like this in most of the small towns you'll get to. I can't really describe it well because I don't know much about architecture in and of itself, but you'll find once we play like the rounds in Tyrol and Vorarlberg and even Salzburg probably you'll find the houses to look a lot different if you if you want to guess based on that or if you specialize in architecture or something like that uh also just just because I just found it Gasthaus is basically a word for a pub of some sort just um it's not really a restaurant it kind of is but it's, it's difficult to describe. Also, very important, Raiffeisenbank. This is their logo. Well, it's probably not important, but that's the most famous uh, bank in Austria, I'm pretty sure. So that probably won't help you much, just so that you can f not focus on it. It definitely tells you you're in Austria, but it definitely doesn't tell you where in Austria you are. Anything else that I can find around here? Yep, you also important all the Austrian uh, all the Austrian states have their own flag in this case 
I mean, I don't want to embarrass myself. I'm 99% sure that's the state flag of Burgenland. That's just the flag of uh, of Austria. That's the European flag. This might be the flag of the of the town we're in. Anything else? You'll usually find lots of these green signs. They're usually not important. Oh, by the way, there's also a a map here of Robach and the surroundings. Gemeindeamt usually is the municipal building if you want to go there. Or, well, in this case, you are standing right in front of it. It's this one. Uh, anything else I can see here? Again, just signs to stadium, shooting range. As you can see, those are usually not that important. Another one of these these pubs, I'm just going to call them from now on. Another construction company. Uh, this is a carpenter, I think. I'm not confident on the English word for it. But again, you can see it says Eisenstadt on it. Eisenstadt, while being the capital of Burgenland, is quite far away. Well, again relatively far away from where you found that sign so be careful with those okay so we've finished Burgenland not the greatest score we had a lot of very rural locations but we did see some towns and with Neusiedl we saw one of the more famous cities in the state so it was pretty representative we didn't actually see anything of the southern part that's a shame, but nothing I can do about it. As you can see, I didn't even know it had a southern part. That should tell you just how famous Burgenland's southern part is. Uh, yeah, you'll mostly be placed up here, I guess. But yeah, I already said that like three times in a row now. Whatever. Ooh, decent performance. To get so close on like rural roads where there's nothing to really judge off. Where was that? Like this road, for example. That's a pretty good performance. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Austrian States. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.